Hey friends, it's Colleen here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today, and if you are new, welcome. Today I am doing a flip through of a travel album. This album is documenting my 2019 trip to Ireland. Um, I have already filled this video once, and I realized that I focused more on the story of the trip than I did on the actual album and what I created. So I'm going to do a little uh, redo here and try to focus really more on how I created my layouts. Um, if you do have any questions about my trip, uh, feel free to comment down below and ask your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And so uh, without further ado, let's get into it. This album is a life crafted 6x8 album from Citrus Twist. All of the products that I used, um, if they are still available, I will try to link down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. I had all of my photos professionally printed by Persnickety Prints, so um, this is my very first travel album for like a large trip. I did previously do a flip through of a trip to Acadia National Park in a um, traveler's notebook size album. Um, so that was more of a weekend trip. This is my first time documenting a trip that was more than a few days. This was a 10 day trip. Um, I did a lot of planning on this album, meaning uh, I was using my iPad to organize my photos and kind of plan out what size I wanted to print them. And that was a very, very long process and I didn't have enough structure to it. So then I printed out my photos, but then found that I didn't really want to stick to the plan. Um, so I think I, I learned a lesson there. And then uh, something else I've learned since is I've been watching Allie Edwards um, travel album videos. And I found that she has a lot of techniques that I wasn't really aware of that I think going forward I would incorporate into my albums, but they weren't incorporated in this one. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is my opening page. It is a six by eight photo um, just of the landscape of Ireland. I just use alphas um, to put Ireland 2019. These are sticker alphas from Felicity Jane. So those are no longer available. Um, Felicity Jane is out of business now. What I would do differently if I were to do this again would I would I would print the photo larger so it could be outside of the pocket page. Um, but yeah, I love this intro to the album. Next, I have a photo documenting um, me and my parents on the plane. They were my travel buddies for this trip. It was just the three of us. Um, and so I told the story here about why we were going to Ireland and... Um, this was right out of college, so I'm just saying, you know, this was my first international trip, and I think that's 
very important for the why of my trip. Um, and I decorated using, I think these are mostly, um, it's kind of a mix of products really. I think I have some uh, um, Paper Person Shop, which is now, yeah, used to be Kelly Perky, now it's Paper Person Shop. I have some Studio Calico maybe? I'm not exactly sure what every product is, um, but I will have them linked down in the description. And this is, these are Allie Edwards, I know that. Um, so I really am combining a lot of um, product lines. That's something else that going forward I would do differently. I think um, watching Allie Edwards' video, I like the idea of kind of having um, more of a foundation or more of a, a plan or a format to stick to. So I do have a kit um, I just got back from, well, a couple months ago I got back from um, Scotland and so I will be doing an album for that and I think I'm going to go into that with a very different mindset than I did for this album. On this page I conveniently had this July calendar. Um, it actually wasn't dated. It had dates from the year before and I just used a, um, a white out tape runner to white out the numbers and then I stamped in the correct numbers for the the year that we were going and this is just showing a general outline of where we would be on each day the trip actually started on june 28th was our departure day so i don't have the very first um or the first couple travel days on here but i didn't really mind that so much um and then down here i tell another story um right before the trip we kind of had we realized that our uh, return flight was a day sooner than we thought it was, so we had planned a tour. So the night before we departed, we kind of had a little bit of a panic and had to replan. I thought that was an important story to capture. This is a page. This is the first day of our trip. So we flew overnight and we arrived in the morning. And this is kind of the overview of exploring Dublin. So I tell the story of that day. And I just have two by two photos. Um, of the different places we visited. This was a page that I had planned very, very differently. And then I felt like I wasn't really capturing the essence of the day. So I actually went on to Google and I found photos of places we visited that were like, just feels more like what we actually experienced than the limited amount of photos I had. So these two are my photos. This is the um, hotel we were staying in. And this is the Temple Bar, which is like the most touristy <laughs> attraction in Dublin. Um, I was, we didn't go in, but I was also capturing, it was the uh, Pride Month, or it wasn't even, was it Pride Month? Yeah, I guess it was. Or they have like the largest Pride Parade of like any place, and we didn't know that it was happening. Um, but everything was decorated with rainbows, which was a fun experience as well. And then these are from a museum we visited that we didn't have any pictures of. So I went on Google and I got those and that's exactly what it looked like. Like this could have been my photo, you know? Same with this, that's another museum we visited. And then this is a picture of my mom in the uh, pub that we got lunch at. And this is the outside of the pub, which I hadn't taken a picture of. So I think it's okay to fill in the gaps with Google images, <laughs> like there's no shame in that. Um, I think at my Scotland trip, I was more intentional about the photos I was taking, knowing that I was going to document it and having this experience. I was like, oh, I want to capture where we had lunch or like the outside of buildings too. Um, on the next day, I have it dated here. We went on a hike. So we just had a lot of really beautiful photos. Um, this is a layout I did multiple times because I was over... Uh, I was trying to over embellish and I think something with travel albums that you don't need a lot of embellishment because you're trying to tell the story. Um, it doesn't need to be as decorative. So I think that was another takeaway from doing this album. Um, I'm doing pocket pages. So I have two three by fours and a four by six. And then on the back, just more from that trip. Um, this was honestly one of my favorite parts of the trip. And I think it really is captured well through photos. Then I have a three by eight. Um, I really liked using this size for this image because it we were obviously by a tower that was like very narrow and tall. And these are, this is me and my dad. Um, 
So I just really like that image. I didn't think it needed anything with it. And then on the back, I do tell the story um, of visiting this tower, and these are my parents. To type the journaling, I used Procreate on my iPad. That was, um, I was using Procreate a lot for this process, and I think it's something that I haven't really seen other crafters use. Um, I do hope at some point to do some videos on how I use Procreate to help me with crafting um, in a high, obviously hybrid scrapbooking fashion. Um, so yeah, I just typed this out and had it printed um, like that with persnickety prints. Oh, I will say, because I had changed my plan here, most of these are, or I think even all of them are printed at home on my Canon selfie printer. Um, the quality is not that different. The main difference is that the prints from Persnickety are a little bit more matte, whereas these are definitely more glossy. But in this, you, you can't really tell. It doesn't make that much of a difference here. Um, but yeah, I did uh, supplement some of what I printed with my own prints at home. Then we have another 3x8. Um, I really liked the road sign of kind of seeing where we are at this moment and... Um, I just thought that was really cool. And then this is a picture of me with the Beamish Irish Stout sign. Um, my last name is Beamish. And my ancestors are the people who created Beamish Irish Stout, which is not as popular as Guinness. But if you go to Cork, they pretty much drink that. Or I think the other one is Murphy is the other one they drink. Um, but yeah, so this was the first time we saw the Beamish Irish Stout sign. So we had to get a picture. And again, I just kept that simple. Um, I over decorated it at first and then I took things away because I, I didn't need all of that. Here is where we were getting lunch and I just documented that. Um, I documented what we had for lunch, the Beamish Stout sign, and then we realized that this was a location in one of our favorite movies, Leap Year. Um, so that was cool in the retrospect. This is another 6x8 photo of my mom at the PS I Love You bridge. And so, um, from the movie, P.S. I Love You, if that wasn't clear. I, so I put in, using alpha letters from Pinkfresh Studio, P.S. I Love You, because she's my mom, and I'm a little obsessed with her, um, and did some simple decoration. This is another layout. Um, it's on the same trip when we went to the Guinness estate. We didn't actually visit the estate, but you could look down upon the estate, um, so we got a picture of the landscape. This is a close-up picture of the um, flowers, the wildflowers. My mom took this photo. And then here is a picture of me and my mom. Um, and I just used, I conveniently was actually at um, Crop on the Cape, which is a crafting retreat in Cape Cod um, in Massachusetts. And they had given us these um, stickers, which I can't remember. I think it's L Studio is the brand but they conveniently matched my photo perfectly in color so i use those and then i think this is um this is from pink fresh studio and a couple other brands but simple decoration for sure oh and i did my journaling with a white jelly roll pen i like incorporating my handwriting but in a lot of cases with the travel journal or the travel album, it's easier to type the journaling because there's usually a lot more of it. Like there's just more story to tell. Um, but I didn't mind that throughout this album, I use a little bit of both. I do both handwriting and ty uh, typed journaling. Here is another um, story that I really needed to tell. This is a um, photo that I printed four by six, but then this was just sky above it, so I cut it down. And um, this layout is more about the story than it was about the photos. So um, we went to Glendalock and we got lost basically and did like this ridiculously um, high energy steep hike that we weren't planning to do, but it was an amusing story. Um, so we have that journal there, and then these are the kind of the result of that story um, document on this page. I didn't use pocket pages for this because I had a full page layout on the other side. I think that's something that I struggled with in creating this album was just kind of planning out how many, how, like what page protectors I'm going to use so that the front and the back of it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think if I had more of a formula 
that that would be a problem solved. Um, so yeah, on this side, I just have, we ended our day in Dublin and I just love this picture and I wanted to really emphasize this moment with my mom. Um, so these are Felicity Jane, uh, these are Maggie Holmes, the flowers, and I did some stenciling on the background and just, I really like this picture. On to the next portion of our trip was in Galway. Again, I have a six by eight photograph and then I just put alphas to document where we were. Um, and I just like the simplicity of that. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I got really kind of stuck because I was trying to incorporate journaling into every layout and I was getting stressed and felt like I didn't have enough photos and blah, blah, blah. So ultimately I decided, okay, I'm going to type out all the journaling for Galway, which is two days. It might not even be for all of Galway, but I did the journaling for the next couple pages and just stuck it in here because that's okay. And the story is told and now it's the pretty stuff and I don't have to worry about incorporating journaling here. So, and that also allowed me to add more photos. So I had originally had three by four photo, my journaling here and another three by four photo. Um, the, st the tricky part was that I was trying to hand write the journaling, which this is a limited space. So then I felt like I wasn't telling the whole story and I was missing things. So I was like, okay, do the journaling over here. And then I got to add in two more photos from the day. So that was really great. Um, and then flipping over, I had the same format. So three by four, three by four and two two by twos. And these are both, or at least this one, I'm not sure if this one is, are pictures from Google that again, um, I hadn't captured this um, while we were on the trip. And even afterwards, when I was showing my dad the album, he was like, oh, wow, you got this picture. That's awesome. And I was like, actually, Google got that picture. But it's true enough to what we experienced that um, you wouldn't know the difference, really. This is on um, one of the Aran Islands. And so we took a lot of pictures. And there were a lot of cool things to see. So I... Um, use my iPad to basically create a photo collage. These are six two by two photos and they're just printed up on one four by six um, in just squares. I could have cut that out and put it into a two by two, um, you know, the two by two page protector, but I didn't. Um, and I grouped it with this three by four of this really cool picture that my mom took with some minimal um, decoration here. These are three by fours of a ferry trip by the base of the Cliffs of Moher. Um, again, very simple. I think at this point, I, there's a certain point I reached in this album where I just kind of wanted to get it done so things were simpler, but I enjoyed it more when it was simpler. Like I was definitely overthinking it. So here I have a four by eight of the cliffs and I like in this that you can, it's giving you perspective. So I'm seeing these are people on top of the cliffs and we're at sea level. And then you flip it over and we're on top of the cliffs. Um, so I like that perspective shift. And here you can see a ferry boat, which is what we were on. Um, this is another layout that is just a photo collage that I printed six by eight um, because I wanted to include all the photos. So yeah, here's how we ended our day. So I just have a three by four. This is like, I don't know what size this is, but it's in like the nine by 16 ratio because I took it on my phone in Snapchat. Um, so I was sharing that at the time. I shared that on my social media and then I screenshot it just to capture the moment. And this is another landscape. Um, with just some fun decorations. Here's another portion of our trip when we went to Connemara. So I have, um, I did this as a photo collage. It's printed as one six by eight with three photos. And then I added some journaling on the right hand side and these are just alpha stickers. I think this is really capturing the essence of Connemara, like, like it kind of puts you back into the feeling of being there. And again, just some more photos and I did some um, monochromatic, monochromatic uh, embellishing, which was fun. It was, I will say one of the challenges of this album was I didn't really have a color scheme picked out, which made it a little bit tricky when I was picturing embellishment or picking embellishments. Obviously, Ireland is a lot of green. It's a lot of green and it's a lot of blue. Um, so on some pages, you probably saw that I incorporated um, oranges and yellows. This one obviously has purples, 
but I think that's another thing that when you pick a kit rather than trying to just kind of do randomly um, it helps you with that as well here I just have some um, 4x6 photos with a little label um, to note what is captured in the photos same on this side and then I have these are four three by fours that I put into four by six pocket pages because of what's on the other side. But I do, this is a flip up because I wanted to incorporate some journaling. There wasn't journaling about this part of the trip on that other journaling page. So this is a um, four by six journaling card and I just put some pattern paper on the back of the photo. And then I just have a paper clip, a mini wide paper clip, um, clipped on here because I don't like when the the flip ups kind of flap around when you're flipping through the album so um, the journaling is a little bit hidden and I don't think you'll need to you know whenever I show someone this album they don't need to read all the journaling that's not my intention so um, it doesn't bother me to have that kind of secured down here I did another photo collage using two by twos um, these are all photos that my mom took of flowers in this garden um, so I have a picture of my mom taking photos. She's a big flower person. And then just some of her photos around her. And I just, I think that captures my mom's experience on the trip. Um, and here's just a photo of the gardens as a whole. Here I have three by four photos. And this is kind of um, capturing the little details of the trip. Like um, this is my dad on the bus. And then we had done a photo stop. And we saw a lot of peat uh um, I don't even know what to call this, you know, peat, <laughs> where peat farming, I guess, where they were digging it up and then some waterfalls. So, um, and then just did some em uh, embellishment cluster for fun. This is telling another story of um, kind of being stranded, like our bus driver dropped us off and then drove away. But my mom captured these pictures of me and my dad sitting together, um, another road sign, which I love and um, the journaling obviously these are photos that are cut out i think i originally had them as two different photo collages and kind of reformatted it so i cut them out and then just ad adhered them onto a six by eight piece of paper this is some more journaling with a three by four photo we were having fun tracking um tracking my little bitmoji on the snapchat map which um, back in 2019 was like a major thing. Like I really enjoyed checking the Snapchat map. I use Snapchat a lot. So it's kind of capturing where I was at that time um, of my life and then just kind of documenting that experience. And I also documented a bit about Cork, which are the, the pages coming up um, because again, I didn't want to try to incorporate journaling into every layout. So I did it kind of preemptively here. Then I have this is an image of the Beamish Brewery, which is no longer a brewery, um, but it is one of the most exciting things of going to Ireland was to see kind of where our ancestors were um, and what they were a part of. So that was really important to me and that is documented down here. So I do have the story. Um, and then this is us just kind of exploring Cork, uh, me and my dad on a bridge and then a different perspective so this is the brewery right here. We're looking over the water and then right here is a heron, which I then have a zoomed in picture of. So I like capturing the various perspectives. Um, and then this is a story that's told on the other page, but we got dessert and we were just hanging out in the hotel room, which I think is also good to capture. I think on a trip, you often um, only capture the big things that you're doing but to capture the smaller moments I think is really important too so I made sure to do that on our Scotland trip as well then I just have some more three by fours um, capturing the experience and then a um, six by eight of my parents at the Blarney Castle so as you can see I did try to you've probably noticed throughout the one piece of a formula that I had was doing a six by eight to kind of document a change of location or a big experience. Um, so I think that's a cool way to kind of break things up. And then I tell a bit more about 
where we are. So Blarney Castle and Gardens, I used some alpha stickers for that. I did some journaling, which I just printed on computer paper and taped in here. Um, and then I have smaller photos. And that's continued, same kind of layout here. I have some three by fours and a four by six documenting the views from the top. And then I have a sticker from, I believe it's from Citrus Twist that says the view is worth the climb, which very true. And the garden. So as you can see, embellishing is happening a lot less at this point. I only have a couple pages. I was like, okay, let's get this done. Um, which I don't mind that. I think it also tells a story of me documenting this trip. Um, and then this is where we were um, in Cove. So the cathedral from down below. As we got closer, the, the road signs. And then me and my dad inside of the cathedral taking a selfie. And just telling the story of that. And the beautiful photos that my mom took with some Tim Holtz... Um, uh, small talk stickers or whatever they're called. I'll have them linked below. They say, go where your heart takes you, travel the world over to find the beautiful, which I really think is fitting for this. And then we got some gelato and I, again, another picture of me and my mom, um, and decorated with some pattern paper from Felicity Jane, some stickers, uh, travel stickers and, um, Maggie Holmes stickers. So just kind of a fun ending to the album. And finally, these were our, our last drinks of the trip. Um, I document kind of what each of us was drinking. And then here I'm talking about the return um, back to Albany, New York. Um, we flew and then what we did once we got home. So I think that's kind of a, a closing to the trip that I really like. So that is my Ireland album. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I think I learned a lot from documenting this experience. I do hope to be sharing some layouts of my next trip. Um, I haven't started that yet. I have some ideas in my head going, uh, but I think that's going to be something I'll be documenting in the new year. And I will be using a 6x8 album again, so it will be interesting to see kind of how my style has changed between this one and that one. Um, if you like seeing this flip through, let me know, give me a thumbs up um, or a comment down below. Again, if you have any questions about how this album was created or the trip itself, feel free to ask. Um, if you want to see some more scrapbooking videos or some card making videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will be back soon with another video. Bye.